black to go, please? Okay. Thank you. Hey, Johnny. Hi. Hey, the cops are hassling you again. Oh, they took me down to the station and asked me some questions about Brandon's death. It wasn't a big deal. Well, cops always have a tendency to make it bigger down the line. Is your attorney with you? Diane Miller. Yeah, she met me at the station. Got Detective Domestico to back off, so... Mm. Well, Diane's good, don't get me wrong, but protecting Sonny's best interest is always going to be number one with her. If you should ever find yourself in need of an attorney again, let me know, free of charge. That's very generous. But I have to wonder, why have you taken such an interest? You are an excellent employee. I want to take care of you. Um, what, what's going on? She's checking in on Abby, making sure cops weren't giving her too hard of a time over this whole Brandon Lowell thing. Uh, actually, she's taking the brunt of it. Cops hold her in for questioning. Well, you know, Brandon's my ex. Of course, the police are going to ask me questions about his death. Well, like I said, my attorney is your attorney, OK? You know, actually, that, that might be a conflict of interest, considering that she also defended Brandon. But Diane Miller's got to handle it right now, but thank you. I know Sonny and Jason think I'm working some sort of hidden agenda here, but that couldn't be further from the truth. I legitimately want to help. If my efforts have made this situation any worse, I apologize. That was never my original intention. I know you've been good to me even before I had a connection to Michael, so I know that at least part of this comes from a sincere place. But... I also know that you and Michael's father don't get along. <laughs> well, that's uh, an understatement. Sonny should burn in hell for what he did to my sister, but there's no way I'm going to use Michael as retribution. If I've overstepped my bounds, all you guys got to do is say the word, and I'm done. I'm gone. Look, you could have asked the judge to put me away for life for taking your sister's life. But you didn't, and that says a lot. So does the way you've been helping Abby out. If there's anything I can do, just let me know. Yeah. I'll take care. Thank you. What if Jason and your dad are right? What if Johnny's working us? Well, I thought you trusted Johnny. Well, he's always been good to me. But listening to the way that he talked about your dad... And that anger in his eyes made me wonder if he does have an agenda. When Brandon's body turned up dead, Johnny gave us a heads up so we wouldn't be blindsided by the cops asking questions. I mean, he also uh, offered to have the Vaughn's employees back our story. He's... Well, that's what I mean, though. I mean, Johnny didn't care whether we were involved in Brandon's death or not. He jumped right in and was willing to provide an alibi. Doesn't that seem a little strange to you? You were attacked right on the street from his club. I am sure he feels the same way that I do. That Brandon got what he deserved. No one should be punished for stopping that bastard. Don't let what Brandon did to me cloud your judgment. If there's any chance that Johnny is, is doing this to us to try to one-up your dad... He's not. He's not. How can you be sure? Look, Johnny has always been decent to me. Mainly because he knows what it's like to have a father in the business and how it changes your life. Is that something that not a lot of people understand, which is probably why he's offering to help. But we have a lot more in common than I actually thought we did. That's what worries me. You know, Johnny's carrying around all this anger from his sister, letting it consume his life. I don't want that to happen to you. Brandon is dead. He can never hurt me again. You want to make sure no one else can ever again, too. Thank you, look, at joining the mob is a way to protect me. But you also see it as a way to prove yourself to your dad. Yeah, my dad thinks I'm too weak to handle the business. That I'm too weak to run things. All I want is his respect. When I look at you, you know what I see? An incredibly strong, decent man with the biggest heart of anyone I know. I know it sounds selfish, but I just don't want you to ever change. Jason, you can't even tell what he's thinking. Or feeling, for that matter. I don't want the business to do that to you. To turn you into someone who keeps himself so closed off from everyone? It won't. How can you be sure? Because I won't let it. Your dad and Johnny have those same walls up, Michael. I mean, I'm sure it's a survival instinct, but it's no way to live. I'm sorry. The last thing you need is, is another lecture. I'm sorry. I don't feel like you're lecturing me. Really? Because I feel like I sound like a broken record telling you how to live your life. 
I appreciate that you care. That's that's amazing, okay? But I have to do what I think is right. Even if it means getting you killed? I'm not denying that the business is dangerous. It is. It's extremely dangerous. No, but life is dangerous. You look at Jake. Jason made the safe choice and he gave Jake up so he had a chance at a normal childhood and it didn't matter. He still died. You cannot go through life trying to stop bad things from happening. They happen. All you can do is make the most with the time that you're given. And if John can do that for me, why shouldn't I let him? My own. I got your message. Oh, good, good. Come on. Come hang on over here. All right, what is this about? Well, we'll get to that in a second. I just want to uh, cover my bases, make sure we do this strictly by the book. So you may want to take a seat. This could be a while. Unless you are prepared to cut a sizable check to cover the billable hours I have wasted rushing over here, don't summon me again. I don't work for you. No, you don't. You work for the Corinthos family. And Michael here could probably use the uh, benefit of counsel about now. I have no idea. I was just told to come here. I wanted to make sure that his lawyer was present before we started questioning. This way, any statement he makes would be admissible in court. Because I wouldn't want this to be thrown out on a technicality. Cut the grandstanding. Get to the point. Why is my client here? Well, we have proof that Michael killed Brandon Law. So, Brandon showed up at Abby's apartment, smacked her around pretty good. You heard about it, you got a gun, and you went to get even. But then Jason stepped in, he didn't let you shoot him in the alley. So you figure, well, I gotta do something, right? Because he's just gonna go after Abby again. So you you tracked him down at Vaughn's, and you shot him in the parking lot. That's kind of how it went, right? Don't answer that. No, there's no need to. I got the smoking gun right here. This? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is circumstantial. At best, there is no proof that this is my client in this footage. Nice try. <laughs> nice try. You know... Michael, if you continue to lie, it's going to be a world of trouble for you and Dante. Why Dante? No, 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 no because no, Dante, no, 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 not another word. Dante had a clear conflict of interest, and he didn't take himself off the case. So it looks like he's just covering for you. He's baiting you. <clears throat> Don't engage. If Dante somehow manages to keep his badge, well, then the internal affairs investigation will haunt him the rest of his career, because he'll be known as a dirty cop. So the best thing you can do right now, Michael, for you and your brother, is confess.